What's going on shady people? Shady here bringing you back another Rivals of Aether video. I love saying Aether. I'm not sure how you really supposed to pronounce it. It's Aether or Aether. I think it's Aether, but I'm gonna go Aether. Uh, we're here for a character uh, breakdown slash analysis video. And I'm gonna start with my main because it's the character that I'm most familiar with. And I do wanna give uh, whatever tips I can on each character. I kinda wanna get as many of you guys involved in this game as soon as possible. So I'm kinda gonna be pumping out these character breakdowns throughout the course of this week. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick random. I don't really care who I practice up against. Uh, I think I'm, am I in, pra I'm in practice mode, so the level does not matter. But uh, Forest Burn is the character I'm gonna be going over. Like I said in the previous video, definitely check out the main website and the lore behind this character. My character specifically is Zetterburn's brother, and I've been framed for my my father's death, and I became the leader of a smoke tribe or clan, I believe it's tribe. I am the chief now and he's just an incredible character. The lore is really cool. The work they're putting into this game is phenomenal. I can't wait for a story mode to see what they decide to go with. Uh, if they're gonna do any actual story, if it's just gonna be arcade and not have any uh, anything to do with the lore. Either way, this game is really incredible and we're gonna go over uh, more Forest Burn. If you did miss the last video, go ahead and check it out. Check out the playlist in the description. It's just basically the how-to basics of this game. Very, very straightforward, very, very, uh, I don't know, not too much information, uh, not too detailed I should say, but we're gonna start breaking down the characters one by one in these videos. Now, uh, my character, like I said, is Forest Burn, so we're just gonna go over really quick all of his different moves. Um, this is his jab, so this is just when you hit the regular attack button or A on your Xbox One controller. So, if you do it twice, you'll see you can do a little jab combo. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's, that's jabbing three times. That's just the regular attack button three times. One, two, three. Now, what's really useful when they added in the .03 release of this game is now you can go for example, you can jab twice and then string it to a tilt. So this is my forward tilt, as you guys can see. Uh, that's forward tilt. So that's me holding forward on the left joystick, my movement joystick, and then hitting the regular attack button. Uh, that is, I, I can now go jab, jab, hold on. Jab, jab, forward tilt. So I can string that together, jab, jab, forward tilt. Which is something uh, you will see me do pretty often is jab, jab, forward tilt, because then I can go ahead and absorb that smoke with my down special. Uh, speaking of special, well, we're gonna avoid that for now. So we have our jab, that's our three hits. Then we have two jabs into our tilt. So we can go jab, jab, down tilt. My down tilt is a little swipe. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the hit boxes on for you guys so you can see what direction these hits do. You can see my, my down tilt actually, you can see that uh, our opponent is crouching, which begs to begs to make me question, is there crouch canceling in this game? Which I don't think that there is, but maybe it's just him influencing. That's really interesting that he's crouching. Oh, that's because I did that. Never mind. <laughs> um, you can see that my down tilt actually hits them up. So Zetterburn's down tilt hits him up. I'm just not saying mine starts saying Zetterburn. I apologize for that. Um, it's his down tilt. His forward tilt will also hit, him, hit them away and up. So you can see he does bounce off the ground a little bit. I'm gonna use that really quick. Uh, and then my up tilt is this, and this is a very, very good move. I'll get into combos in a little bit after we go over each of his moves. But his up tilt is very, very good. It hits them straight up unless they're DI'ing in some fashion. Uh, but it's, I really, really like this move. I especially like to wave dash and just get close up. Like if I get wave dash towards them and then get right up next to them. Uh, really quick, because I didn't cover wave dashing in, in depth in the basics, because I'm a fool of a took. Um, wave dashing is basically a short hop, and then you're hitting your parry button, or your air dodge button, your RL trigger, or your RB, uh, LB button, and you're holding towards the ground. So, you can do it really fast, like, you can just go like this, and those are baby wave dashes, but if you, like, hold your joystick at, like, a further, more like a... 27 degree angle, not exact, well not 90, no, like a 45 degree angle, you'll have a little bit of a larger wave dash. You can see like, you can cover more distance if you do that. If you press the R trigger too fast, you'll do these baby dashes and they're not really ideal for spacing. I mean, they might be depending where you wanna go, but you can see I'm actually just moving the joystick a little bit further. We're gonna, we're done with that. I use that a lot with this character and that's why I wanna make sure you guys have a good grasp on wave dashing because uh, he's not one of, the, he's not the fastest character in the game. He's not the slowest by any means. You can see this is how fast he runs. Um, I'm not sure what speeds here he falls in in the game. I know that Maple's the fastest runner, and then I think Raster's the next fastest. Uh, I kind of want to say that uh, Zetaburn is the, the is the third fastest in the game. So I might be around. I'm in the bottom tier, I guess, for speed as far as just running. But that's okay because wave dashing is a thing. So we covered our basic smash, our uh, basic attacks, and our tilts. Now let's cover our air, uh, our smashes. So, oh my bad. My neutral smash, or I'm sorry, my neutral special, uh, my neutral strong attack, I should be, B on your Xbox One controller, is you'll see it as a cape. So he does a cape. If you hit either the strong attack button or the regular attack button after you do your cape, you'll see he does his little dagger. He does a little dagger. Now you can charge the cape, but you can't charge the dagger. Something to note. 
So just like Smash is in Smash Brothers, you can charge your strong attacks. So I'm not a huge fan of this. The only thing I really use my, my neutral strong attack for is gimping off the side of the stage. It does, when you hit them, you'll see, it brings them towards you so that you can land your dagger better. There are times when I actually get that off as a kill move. It's very rare though, because when you're playing someone who's skilled, they can actually air dodge or tech, like you just saw my opponent tech. Uh, they can, they can see they just teched it and I missed my dagger. You can, they can do that every time. They can air dodge every time if they have the correct input. So it's not my favorite move. Uh, it's my least favorite move actually uh, of my, of Zeta Burns, of Zeta Burns uh, arsenal. So that's my forward smash. My down smash, actually let's go over my up smash. Up smash is very similar to the, to the forward smash. It's the same thing, except uh, it's pointing up. But you do the, you do one for the cape, you can charge it, and the second hit will make him point the dagger. Now, you can delay it a little bit if you want to bait out that air dodge, but it really doesn't work that well. Same thing with this neutral or forward. Uh, that's something to note, your strong, your strong attack, both your, remember, strong equals smash. Your strong attack, forward and neutral, is the same. There's no additional uh, smash attack, because you don't stand still and smash and smash, so that's why they did that. Now, uh, your final smash attack in this game, your final strong attack in this game, is your down strong. Strong down, I should say. Uh, and that actually is one of Zeta Burn's better moves. It can kill certain characters around, I'd say, I think this character can actually die around 70%, maybe even 60, let's see. Fully charged, it'll kill at 60. Uh, realistically, you're not going to fully charge it. Uh, it's very, very unlikely that you're going to fully charge it, uh, at which point, uh, it should kill around, you guys can see it does 11% without being charged at all, and it probably won't kill to around 100, and it might not even with DI, it might not even kill them. Let's see, let's just find out when it kills right now. Is it 66, 77, oh, I charge, I, I want to do it not charging it. Okay, so 77 it kills with no DI whatsoever, so we can say around 8, 100 it should kill, but it's not the easiest to land, it has, you, can see, you guys can see the hitbox, the hitbox is Decently long, but you see right there, it's not gonna hit him if I go over a tiny bit more. Oh, that's not that's not where I wanted to go. That'll hit him. So you gotta be able to judge where the hitbox is. It's got an okay hitbox size, uh, a lot bigger actually than I thought it was uh, initially from playing. So that's not bad. It's not bad at all. You don't gotta be right up on top of them, but if you are, the closer you are, you can see it sends them in a different direction. If you hit them with the tip, it's just gonna send them up. Let's see, directly. It'll send them directly up, which is actually your best bet of killing. So spacing right there is really important. Try to hit them with the edge of that hitbox. Uh, you guys will see the, the hitbox right there. It's very it's very quick, the red hitbox. Uh, but that's what you want to hit them with for your down smash. So, smashes, everything on the ground is covered. Now we're going to go over his aerial attacks. Uh, and then we'll get into his special. So, his neutral air is very, very good. You guys, you guys can see uh, it'll get multiple hits. And you can kind of use that to combo into. Uh, it's, really, it's a really, really, really nice neutral air. It's one of the best nares in the game, I think. Uh, personal preference, I think it's one of the best nares. Uh, then, of course, you have his forward air, which is fantastic. Super short, not a lot of frame uh, activation, no delay on it. You can very easily combo into that. Uh, very, very, one of his, definitely one of his best moves is his forward, his fair. His fair is super good. Uh, then you have his back air, his bear, which is, I'm not going to go over just yet because it's kind of, it's just one of his other kill moves. Uh, up air is, this is his up air. And you guys saw in the first video, if you missed it, this is a very, very good move. Let me get him on the air. I'm going to use, I'm gonna use my uh, up tilt. And then I'm going to up air. You guys can see, uh, you can juggle with his up air and his up tilt very easily. Something to note about his up air is his, the hitbox actually extends alongside my body. So you can see, even though he wasn't directly underneath me, you can kind of be next to them and get it off when they're on the ground. You see, like, I'm directly right on top. I'm actually right on top of him. And just the action of me pulling out my dagger uh, basically hits him. It, it, it's the best way to describe it with it making some sort of sense for it hitting. Uh, but it's a really, it's got a really nice hitbox. His up air is really, really nice. And then, of course, his back air is one of his kill moves. I'm going to try to land it for you guys. You guys can see the hitbox. There you go. That's his back air, one of his kill moves. That can actually kill pretty early, around 80, 80, 90, I would say. Uh, and I say that's early for this character, because if you guys see, uh, especially if I if I do an online match with this, which I'm probably going to do at the end of every uh, video, I'm not going to always win. But you can, get him, you can get him up pretty high, especially if you're playing someone who doesn't know how to DI. Like, he's already up to 81. And then if I just go bop, he's gone, but that's with zero DI. That won't kill, it'll probably kill around 100 with DI, at least for roster. Remember, every character has a weight which affects how early your moves will kill. Uh, remember that for this character, your biggest kill moves are your back air and your down smash. Once you have them above 80%, that's when you want to try landing those. Uh, really around 100 if you want to be more comfortable. This character doesn't kill too early like some of the other characters in the game. But it's okay, because my special is the smoke. And the smoke is good for... Uh, a few reasons. One, your opponent can't really see where you are. Of course, the hitbox is on me right now, but if you turn that off, they won't be able to see where I am. They'll catch little glimpses of me. Uh, so you can kind of hide in there. The other thing is that your down special is absorbing the smoke. 
So we're gonna go over your down special really quick. Your down special, once you absorb smoke three times, you'll see that I'm completely purple or whatever color you choose, uh, red, gray, whatever it ends up being. And then if I down special again, I explode. I do Wario's fart. And that can kill around 80. That pretty much always kills around 80, I feel like. Uh, we'll test that out right now so that I'm not labeled a liar, but I think that it'll kill around 80. 80. Let's see. Especially with this light character, you might actually kill. And the the one of the I will go over we'll go over combos on a little bit, so I'm not gonna spoil it. Let's see. He's at 60 right now. I'm gonna down special. That kills. That's no DI. That's one of the lightest characters, if not the lightest character in the game. Uh, probably second lightest after Maple. Um, but so that's that's one of your that's that's your your biggest kill move. Now, of course, you don't want to waste a lot of time trying to absorb smoke. You kind of want to do it in a combo -y fashion. That's why I said before I'd like to go. Uh, I I don't mind going like jab jab forward tilt. Uh, you can see. It, Either way, it forces them away, whether they whether they tech out of it or they get away from you, and then you really quickly want to absorb that smoke. That's something that I like to do. It's not for everyone. Uh, not every Zeta Burn that I play does that. Uh, I think I'm actually one of the only ones that does. So maybe it's not a good thing, but it works for me really well. Uh, especially if you're playing something that doesn't tech or if they try to get away from you. Uh, just string it out into that and then really quickly absorb it. Cause you don't want to get, you don't want to spend the whole match hitting out smoke and then absorbing it. There's really, you can, you can spend the match putting out smoke because it's a super good concealer and it has one other really good, uh, one other really good, I want to say quality about it. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, his, fo uh, Zetaburn's forward special is really, really cool. He actually clones himself as you guys can see. You don't control both these clones movements. You can see the one on the left is moving all on his own. I'm standing still right now. Here are both my hands. He's over there, uh, running around. Now the way you attack with, sometimes he'll attack on his own like that, very, very rarely, but if you want to attack with him, you just hit your special button again. So you can see that I, I put out more smoke and that forced my clone to attack. There we go, he's attacking. He doesn't attack every time I hit special. Uh, something good to do is if you don't want to, if you don't want that lag of putting out smoke, you can actually forward air and then hit your special button, like kind of roll your hand over your A and B button. That way you don't spend time actually putting out smoke, but you can get your clone to attack. It's all preference, really, however you want to do. If you want to put out smoke, then by all means, hit B. And just, you can kind of spam B and get smoke all over the place and even absorb smoke. Every time I absorb smoke, my clone attacks. So it's really cool uh, having a clone. And when your clone gets hit, you won't see it right now. Uh, let me see if I can, uh... CPU, I can put him on fight. All right, cool, I'll put him on fight. I want him to hit my clone. If he, no, no, here, fight. No, not run, fight. No, not roll, fight. There we go. If he hits my clone, it turns into a pile of smoke. And that's very important to remember. If your clone gets hit by your opponent, he turns into smoke. That's something you can absorb. That's something you can uh, hide in. And very importantly, uh, it's something that you can up special in. So your up special is your recovery in this game. It's like up being in Smash. Uh, my up special is like Sheik's. I'll disappear from one spot and I'll go ahead and land in another spot. If I, I, I basically choose the direction. If I'm holding up left, I'll go up left. If I'm holding directly up, I'll go up. Um, if I hold nothing, I'll stay in the same spot. You guys can see the hitbox on it is pretty small. Uh, it's a pretty small hitbox uh, right there, but it does hit and it does hit your opponent up. So something really cool about your up B is that if you up B into smoke, and this takes practice, if you up B into smoke, you actually get your second jump and your up B back. So you guys can see, you can infinitely stay in this column. Of course, something to note is that your smoke does get uh, ruined by your opponent. All they have to do is hit a smoke cloud once and it disappears. So there's no HP or anything like that as long as they hit it once. So a lot of your opponents will try to get rid of your smoke, but you can infinitely up B. As long as you do it inside of smoke, you can see once, the second you up B outside of smoke, uh, it doesn't work. But you can kind of like right now, I'm not hitting a direction, I'm just up being and letting go of the joystick and I can infinitely stay in this cloud of smoke until my opponent comes against me. And I don't advise doing this because your opponent can punish you very, very easily. It's more or less to get back. If you get knocked back really far, like back here, you can put out smoke with neutral B and I just ruined it. But it does take practice. Uh, that's why it's not, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, but there we go. You can kind of bounce between these two pillars, and if you mess up, you get punished. So you, it takes a lot of practice. I'm not perfect at this yet. I only started actually recently doing this uh, as far as trying to recover in clouds almost all the time, because then I can mess up like that, uh, and it, it's a darn shame when you do. But if you want to get rid of all your smoke, the second you absorb three, all of your smoke from the stage disappears. So that's very important to remember uh, about this character. Now getting into combos, those are all the basics, things that you want to put into play. The combos. now. Zetterburns, of course, the one attack that I didn't cover yet is his dash attack. His dash attack is very, very good. Um, it's how you'll start a lot of your combos. They recently nerfed it and gave it more knockback, as they should have, uh, because 
it, it was pretty brutal. You could just dash stack, dash stack, and do a lot, a lot of damage to your opponent and not have to worry too much about uh, making decisions, uh, at least while early percent. So now, I would say the dash tech is not his best combo starter. I love forward, uh, forward air as far as his combo starter. And you can see something really good to do is like uh, fair, fair, uh, try to save your second jump, and you can start going for up airs, uh, and just rack that percent up as soon as you can. Uh, and then back air will get the kill. That's really the, that's really Zetterburn's bread and butter. Now, of course, I'm not a professional of this game. Uh, I'm just giving you the advice that I have for these characters. Uh, so hopefully you find it useful uh, somewhat. But I think fair is his best. Uh, you could do fair to neutral air. So fair to air is really good. Uh, you see that, that's, that's, that's amazing. It does have a lot of knockback your fair once you're up to a higher percent. So fair might be more, uh, if you're trying to combo off, you might want to stick with fair. Uh, another way thing you can do, like I said before, is up tilt into up air. Uh, if you can, if you actually connect it on a PC that's not even moving. Up air. I'm trying to read DIs, but obviously this thing, this computer's not going to DI. Uh, and then you can even up smash, and he air dodges right away. That's why I don't advise his smashes too much. I feel like Zetterburn really thrives on uh, comboing with fair, up air, nair. Uh, his aerial game is really on point, and getting him into the air is really easy, because you have, like, down tilt. You can always down tilt, get him up in the air. Down tilt actually kills him at 200%, which makes sense, because it's 200% no DI. Uh, but you can use down air to get them up into the air, and then continue to uh, continue to fare. Uh, but that works a lot better uh, when they're at a little bit of higher percent. Like, watch. Goes up. Uh, he's, like... Because that has such far knockback, it's pretty hard to combo with that, actually, now I'm looking at it. But look, ah, uh, that's what it is. If you hit them with the inside of that hitbox, it sends them straight up. We had talked about that prior. I uh, hit them with the inside of your uh, down uh, down tilt, and it'll send them straight up, which you can then proceed to combo with. Probably at a low percent, too. I'm going to try to kill him right now so we can see that uh, right quick. And those are just a couple of his combos uh, that I really, really think are really nice. Hmm, before it was uh, sending them straight up. I guess maybe that is only at high percents. So don't don't rely on down tilt too much for combos. I would say really stick with uh, forward air and then nair. Like your neutral air is really really nice. So don't hit any. Remember, don't hit any directional while you're in the air, and you just hit your uh, attack button, and you'll go ahead and uh, do it that way. Something to note: when you're in the air, uh, if you do your neutral regular attack, you do your neutral air. But if you do your neutral strong attack, you automatically do your forward air, because remember, smash attacks don't have uh, a neutral or your strong attacks don't have a neutral standing point. It's it's just it's always you always do your uh, forward strong instead of your fo uh, instead of a neutral strong because there is no neutral strong attack. That's basically uh, some of the really good things. Another really good combo. Uh, I'm gonna kill him really quick because this works well at low percents. There we go. Um, your down air, which I don't think I covered. Wow, I'm really slacking. I apologize, guys. This is the first time I'm doing a video like this, a uh, character breakdown, but I really should be doing a better job. Uh, your down air, I did up air, I did forward air, and I did back air. I did not do down air. Your down air is really, really interesting. You guys can see that it has a, a pretty interesting hitbox. If you hit them while facing them, it sends them forward and down. But if you hit them as if it's your back air, so remember, your back air, you want to land like this. You want to kind of, ah, and it has a sweet spot. It doesn't always send them flying. Uh, you do want to work in that speed spot. For example, that wasn't because you didn't hear it, but that was because you heard that sound uh, in the game. I'll be silent for a second. So that was a sweet spot. That was a sweet spot as well. I don't know how to not land the sweet spot at this point, to be honest. I've been, do I've been, I've been landing sweet spots uh, since I learned how to do it. But anyway, so that's how you land your back air. So when you do your down air, you, if you think of it as if it's your back air, it, it's a spike. If you hit them like on the tail end of the hit, that's something a lot of people don't know. I actually only learned it because uh, I was DMing the creator of the game and he gave me that tip and I was like, shoot, man, I got to share this with people because uh, it's an actual spike. You can see it's sending them straight towards the stage. So if you hit them up with the, with the tail end of that hitbox, it'll be a spike. Otherwise, it's just a funky uh, sending them far away type of hit, which is good, too. I mean, it still does a lot of percent if you do. Uh, let me let me see. Let me, uh, let me just kill him really quick. See, that wasn't the, that wasn't the sweet spot. Oh no, never mind. He is. He is. I, I set his health back to zero. My bad. Um, I didn't realize just by hitting start it does that. So something you can do is you can uh, up up tilt into down air, which does a good. You guys can see that's twenty three percent, and you'll usually get that twenty three percent if you can manage to hit the uh, sweet spot and get uh, and get them down back onto the ground. You can actually combo uh, even more than just the two hits. See, like right there. That was that's that's. 
it won't be as easy because your, your opponent will be teching and what have you, but uh, it's possible, essentially, is what I'm saying. Uh, another really, really good combo and a basic combo that you want to master is, you guys can see that I have all my smoke, um, is, I think, fair, fair, uh, see, that was tar that was garbage. That's why I said you have to master it. You have to master it! Well, basically, comboing your, your weak aerial attacks into your down special is really nice. Uh, obviously, it's very different against computer. I will play an online match to kind of showcase that a little bit, what you want to try to do. You want to be careful of air dodges. You want to try to make your opponent spend their air dodge first before you do such things. Up tilt, up tilt is a great way to start combos when they're at 0%. And then you can see you can just kind of go off. Uh, like that. Those are all the basic combos for this character. There are more combos, uh, maybe a little more complicated, but I think you can get pretty far with just the arsenal that I've just kind of talked about. Don't be afraid to use to abuse Nair. Dash attack into Nair, into Fair. You guys can see, and you can, and with this character, something to remember is if you master the clouds, you can go out pretty deep because you can kind of just get out there and really, really fight really far out. Like, no, he's gonna die from that, maybe. Yeah, he's gonna die from that. All right, but that's something to note. Mastering the clouds is very, very useful. Uh, don't do that. Don't, do not play like that. That is bad. That is bad. And something to note, you'll see that when you when you up be into a cloud, it kind of centers you. Uh, for example, if I up be like right here, it's gonna center me in the cloud and kind of put me in the air. So it's very interesting to note that. Just keep an eye out for it. You don't want to be taken off guard by your own character that you're playing. Uh, remember, you get that second jump when you up into a cloud. And you can see, like, even though I'm recovering over here, it was sending me over there. Look at that. Because it just must be the, the hitbox of the cloud, essentially. But like I said, one hit from either you or your opponent gets rid of a cloud. But don't hit your own clouds. Just, just suck them up if you want to. Alright, so we're gonna quit out of this. Those are all the basic combos for Zetterburn. That's a pretty rough, but uh, pretty pretty solid explanation of the character. We're gonna play one online match, uh, two out of three, with a random person, Captain Careful Falcon. Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. Let's see what we can do. Okay, he starts with an upbeat, which I find interesting. Uh, something like this, for example, there's a little lag in this match. Uh, if there's a little lag in your match, don't be afraid to just quit, like this guy's doing. Uh, he definitely does not want to play this laggy match, and I don't want to play it either. So I appreciate him quitting, but are you gonna are you gonna keep quitting or no? Please quit. I guess he's see players think that uh, players think that when you wave dash around, you're showing. Look, I'm not the one with lag, but that's not what I was doing. I was just I just wanted to wave dash because why the heck else not if we're gonna be quitting anyway? So lunar whale, let's try lunar whale. I prefer the purple color uh, for for ooh a mirror match. That's fun. Okay, he just parried me. So those are just a little bit of notes. Oh, okay. So you can see him dash attacking uh, into. And he's using fair a lot. Oh my gosh, this guy's got perfect parries. I might have to stop talking and just focus on the match because this is actually pretty exciting. Yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking. He's gonna clone himself. I'm gonna clone myself. Okay, I got, I got, I got, I got to focus. Oh my gosh! You almost got me. Ah. Uh, something to note about mirror matches is that you can actually absorb your opponent's smoke. Uh, if you're versing another Zetaburn and you're playing a Zetaburn, I'm getting body right now. Uh, you can absorb their smoke. Ah, I parried too early. This guy's, this guy's, uh, this guy's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna go ahead and even up the stocks just like that. I could kind of tell that was gonna work. Ah, oh, man. Alright, I need to, I need to just sit back and focus, because I'm, I'm sitting close for the, for the sake of the tutorial, but I'm getting completely bodied right now. I'm getting 100% bodied. Yeah, 100% bodied. That's it. It's over. It's over. Right on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you caught me with the down smash again. Oh my gosh. See, I messed up my input on that. I should not be killed by that. There's really no reason to get killed by that ever. Unless you mess up like me. Something to note, if you if they parry a jab, you don't get punished for it. You won't get frozen, which is really, really nice. I'm, 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 I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm dead. 
It's like, I can use his clouds to uh, double jump and what have you. There we go. There. That was really stupid of me and I'm dead. That was really, really dumb of me to do. I'm gonna try to bring this one back. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Alright, so this is two out of three. We're gonna go in right now. What are the chances of finding a great Zetterburn Ditto to play? For the Zetterburn Guide. You guys can see, he was holding command of that, but he got hit by uh, back air, and you know what? You don't wanna get hit by back airs. He uses down smash a lot, and it's really good. Oh my gosh. That's not what I pressed. Well, it is. I missed input. That's not what I wanted to press, I should say. I'm not using my forward air enough, and I could tell that. What? Oh, he caught me on that. Oh my gosh. Oh, so close to laying that. Oh my gosh. I was DIing up. That's my fault. Oh my gosh, his dashing is so on point. I gotta punish it somehow. I gotta parry better. Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh my gosh, his parrying is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, his parrying is ridiculous. Oh, I just misplayed. Should have parried that. That was my fault. Yeah, I deserve to lose this one. I mean, I'll try. Nope. Ah! All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus. I think I'm gonna lose this. I think I'm gonna lose this. too much pressure. Oh, come on! No! I wanted the mirror match, man. He was DIing all the way, man. So that's what I use the forward smash for mostly. And I didn't I didn't finish unfortunately, but uh I got a lot of extra percent on him. You always want to try to parry that fire. Because it gives him the burn damage instead and he doesn't get his knockback increase that he's so Oh no. I had to do that. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just messed that up. I can't believe I just messed that up. There we go, gone. Get out of here. Oh gosh. If I get hit by any smash attack, I'm gone. Oh no, no, no! I knew it. Guys, fortunately he's coming back. That's what I should really do when he's doing that. I should go for the spike. Don't smash attack me. Ah, priority is real. Got him. Got he. Got he. All right, so I'll probably win this set. I don't want to jinx myself. Why'd I say that?
I say, that's how you should be putting me on fire, man. Use your back air. I'm gone. That knockback increase is too much. I think I jinxed myself. Oh, come on. I just wasted that opportunity. There we go. There we go. Let's get some damage. Oh, no. You almost got me, dude. I know I should just focus on getting my down special ready. Oh, come on, man. down special. All right, so that was a crazy set. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this was a really long video because of that set. If you did enjoy, please show some shady love to one of those thumbs. I'm probably going to play this guy again because I love giving people rematches, especially because he's a, he was beating with Forsburn. I want to learn from his Forsburn. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it shade. Something out, and I can apparently just do whatever I want. Towards the stage, you have to think and decide. Now, something cool in practice mode is you can actually turn the hitboxes on, and it can kind of help you learn where you.